Hello and welcome to this index game video showing you how to get started with Buzzbot. And Buzzbot is essentially a uh, automated tool on Slack for premium members to help run reports or very simple reports whilst on the move. So Slack can be run on the desktop website or via the mobile app. Um, where premium members get the option to run a series of commands to help them uh, retrieve data, to help them research on potential per purchases or monitor their portfolios. So first thing as a premium mem member you want to do is head over to the Buzzbot page on the Index Gain website and just familiarize yourself with some of the pages that are available um, for you here. You'll see on the Buzzbot page a series of popular commands that you can enter into Slack uh, to run Buzzbot reports. There's also a page where you can view all the commands and screenshots for most of the reports so you get to see what the reports look like and what data is contained in the reports before you run them. So do familiarize yourself with the Buzzbot page. Um, there's a series of videos on the YouTube channel or on the Buzzbot page showing you how to run each individual command and what information you'll see and how to use that information. So do check that out. So I'm just going to very quickly show you how to use Buzzbot on Slack. You can run Buzzbot in any channel as you can see on the left hand side and it works the same for desktop as well as mobile. So on this for this particular video I'm just going to head over to my direct messages section and I'm just going to kind of almost research for my own purposes rather than kind of heading into one of these channels and running a report on a player that somebody might be discussing uh, in any one of these channels. So a popular command is the player info report. So what you'll do is you'll type in forward slash IG and you'll see this window here that presents you with all the commands that you can enter and a brief description of what that command uh, is for. So the one we're uh, looking for is the player info and there it is. So you can select that or you could just choose to type in IG player info hit enter and it will automatically populate and then the player we're going to look for is um, Let's choose Sancho. So you'll just type in IG player info Sancho, hit enter, and wait for Buzzbot to present you with the Sancho player report. From here, you can click the show more button, and now you can see all of his stats in one report. All of his PB stats, uh, match stats, uh, fixtures coming up. Now the season's already finished, so you won't see any fixtures there. Um, total dividends since 2017 uh, returns report and a media buzz report here as well with a link to the uh, an article with the highest points for today. From here you can choose to publish the report. You can, if you've added this player to your my port which is a portfolio tracker which Buzzbot can provide um, you can check out that video on how to use my port on the YouTube channel as well. Uh, or you could add to your watch list or you could just choose to dismiss the report. So that's how you do player info. info. Another report that is very popular is the, um, peak scores, so overs. RG overs, and we're going to choose to view all players who have scored over 200. Hit enter, and now Buzzbot will present you very quickly with a report of all the players by position category who have scored over 200 how many times from how many games and their current price now you can take overs to another level so we're just going to do ig overs and then we're going to choose to view all players who have scored over 200 but less than uh, one pound so you hit enter and now you'll see the same report but only for players who are less than one pound. So this is a very quick way to do some researching while you're on the go, if you're on the bus, if you're waiting for a taxi or wherever you are on your Slack mobile app, uh, you can run these reports anytime, anywhere. And then you might decide, okay, well, uh, this player looks interesting. So from here you can do IG player info, Kostic, um, and then you can choose to view his player report and you, 
you can add to just choose to add him to your watch list. And then once you've added him to your watch list, you can then run a price moves report. So my list, uh, three hours. And any players in your watch list, whoever's moved uh, by a penny or more, you can run that report here and it will show you everyone on your watch list who, who has changed price, who has risen or fallen in the last three hours. Uh, as I just showed you there, the price moves report is a very popular report. So IG moves, uh, players in the top 200 over the last seven days. And now we've got a report that shows you all the players in the top 200 who have moved in price over the last seven days. You can choose to show more, so you can see all the risers here. And you can see all the fallers here. Now the fallers list might be a bit more appealing to someone who's already risen by a fair amount. And you may decide to either purchase or add some of these players to your watch list. You can run these reports in any channel on Slack. So if you're in the match day channel and somebody's started talking about a certain player like Torgan Hazard, for example, you can choose to run uh, a series of reports to find out if the player has moved in price, if uh, run his player info report, check for dividends, uh, see if his fixtures coming up are easy as well. So you can run all the research you like on Slack here via all of these commands that you can enter so you can type in IG divs and then a date range and you can view all the dividend winners for that particular date range so do check out the uh, buzzbot page on the index game website and do check out the YouTube channel and watch as many videos as you can the more reports you're familiar with uh, the better your research abilities will be when you're doing your research on slack so as always if you've got any question, head over to the help channel on Slack. Uh, plenty of traders there waiting to help and answer any queries you may have. So that's Buzzbot and how to use it on Slack. Thanks for watching.